वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू द क्लास नंबर सिक्सटी इन द प्रीवियस थ्री वीडियोज वी हैव कवर द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डी एस सी आर इट्स लिमिटेशन एंड वी हैव ऑल्सो डिस्कस द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ आई एस सी आर सो नाउ इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस टू अंडरस्टैंड द नेचर ऑफ कैश फ्लोज द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ बेसिक्स ऑफ कैश फ्लोज इज ऑफ अटमोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंस फॉर अस वेदर यू आर अ इन्वेस्टर इन अ कंपनी वेदर यू आर अ लैंडर और डेट प्रोवाइडर टू द कंपनी the cash flow analysis of the business is the most critical analysis that everyone nowadays do for while analyzing any company right so cash flow in the business is very critical to analyze we understand that but how how do we analyze the cash flow analysis of the business let us make a series of videos on this so suppose this is your income statement i will start from scratch i will start from very basic level so that you can understand it in as much depth as possible so this is the income statement here the client has done the sales of rupees 500 he has earned gross profit of rupees 100 then 100 rupees gross profit he has earned 25 rupees as profit on sale of assets 15 rupees are represents his bad debts recovered 10 rupees are discount received 20 rupees represents his provisions which are written back 30 rupees is his insurance claim so he paid salaries repair and maintenance bank interest depreciation preliminary expenses written off loss he suffered losses by fire of rupees 20 and he occurred uh, incurred other indirect expenses of rupees 45 and then he earned net profit of rupees 50 this is the income statement that you see of any company and you what you, what a layman would say that the entity is earning 50 rupees worth of profit on the sale of rupees 500 that means the entity is generating 10% net profits 10% net profits so a layman who doesn't know the technicalities of the financials would say the company is earning very healthy returns on its sales it is earning net revenue of direct 10% on its sales right but from the perspective of a lender a debt provider do we say that these 50 rupees represents the cash earned in the business if the entity has earned 50 rupees in profits that would mean that after generating revenue after paying off all the expenses from their pocket the client the entity is left with rupees 50 so does this mean that the 50 rupees hard cash or bank balance will actually be in the pocket of the entity does this mean that entity has earned all of this amount in cash that is the basic question from where the cash flow analysis start so the answer to my question is no the entity hasn't earned these 50 rupees in cash why because there are few expenses like depreciation which is basically a reduction in the value of their fixed assets there is preliminary expenses written off which is just a return off of already incurred expenses in the past this is this 20 rupees income represents the provision written back which is generally a non cash thing which is a basically a provision that we have created in the past is no longer required that that is why we have only reversed it back so there is no cash income from this written back provision right so if we want to calculate the cash profit how much the entity has earned in cash we have to adjust the non cash expenses and non cash incomes from the net profit of the entity right so how will we adjust it so this is the net profit of rupees 50 we will add back the depreciation which is already deducted from this 50 we will add it back saying that this doesn't represent any cash outflow similarly these 5 rupees doesn't represent any actual cash outflow and these 20 rupees doesn't represent any actual cash inflows so these 20 rupees which is added in the profits as this is the income so we will deduct it from the profits we are kind of reversing the impacts right so if we nullify them the, then coincidentally our cash profits comes to rupees 50 now these 50 rupees we can say that entity is generating 50 rupees in cash from its business so these represents the profits earned in cash right so to break the suspense i will say that still this is a incorrect position and why it is incorrect 
and how we'll get, we will get the correct position. That is the something that we will be discussing in the coming video of our cash flow analysis series. So for now, let's say these 50 rupees represents the profit earned in cash. Now, what will the financial analyst say? That the entity is earning 50 rupees cash from its business. Remember the word 50 rupees cash from its business. So there is a sense of regularity in it. We are saying basically that entity while doing its business, general business, core business will continue to generate these 50 rupees cash in future as well. That is what we want to say. Entity is, uh, we, we are saying basically the entity is earning 50 rupees cash from its business. So that means we are saying that its business has the capability of generating 50 rupees worth of cash profit on sales of rupees 500. That is what we mean, right? But this is not actually true. We have to make some further adjustments here. These don't represent the ability of the business to earn these much of the profit continuously in the future. These 50 rupees cash profits, although they are cash profits, but they doesn't reflect the actual ability of the business to keep on continuing earning these profits in cash in near future, in future as well. We cannot say for sure that the business will earn 50 rupees worth of cash profit if it do if it does sales of 500 rupees again in the next year why so because there are some exceptional nature of incomes and expenses that has happened in the current year which has resulted in business earning these 50 rupees profit what are these profit on sales of assets entity has earned 25 rupees profit by selling its assets it's, it could be its vehicles, it could be its plant and machinery, or it may be scrapping its all assets, right? It has earned 25 rupees. But this is not the core business of the entity. We cannot presume that the each and every year entity will keep on selling its assets and keep on earning these profits. This is a kind of exceptional income. The entity has scrapped its old assets or, the, or whatsoever reason, the entity has earned some profit out of it. So this profit will not be continued forever it will we cannot expect it to continue in the coming years as well so this is a non of non uh, basically exceptional income or extraordinary income similarly bad debts recovered of rupees 15 entity has sold goods to some parties in the past and the parties have defaulted on 50 rupees payment to the entity they have not given pay back, paid back the 50 rupees to the entity resulted in the loss of in the name of bad debts right but suddenly out of the blue after seven years eight years or after four five years some of the party uh, th some of the clients to whom the goods were sold became suddenly honest and decided that they will pay some amount back or they were maybe in insolvency proceeding and their assets were sold and the court ordered them to pay 15 rupees to our entity right so these 15 rupees is exceptional recovery that we have got by luck for in this year and we cannot say that this is the general business income and it will be continued to be earned in the future year as well so this is also an extraordinary income or uh, extraordinary or exceptional income discount is the general income that we continually continually earn in the business then is insurance claim we know that there was some loss by fire in the business the fire broke out resulting in some loss and insurance company supported us for rupees 30 so that 30 rupees is basically our income that we have booked that we have got from the insurance company but tell me friends can we expect that the fire will occur every year and every year claim will be filed and every year insurance company will keep on paying us 30 rupees? No, no. Nah. So basically this is also an exceptional or extraordinary income, extraordinary income. So if we come on the expenses side, this loss by fire of rupees 20 is an exceptional expense. We cannot expect every year, we cannot say that every year there will be loss by fire of rupees 20. There cannot be fire every year. This is an uh, exceptional situation that has happened to the entity. So these four items, these four items are exceptional and extraordinary in nature, which are included or has impacted the net profits of the entity. So when we exclude these, when we exclude these, 
what we will get so the cash profits that we have got here 50 rupees after adjusting the non cash expenses or incomes so we will add back any exceptional expense that we presume that we will uh, that it will not occur in the coming future we will add back the loss by fire of rupees 20 and we will deduct all the exceptional or non recurring incomes that will not be earned in the future like profit on sales of assets bad debts recovered insurance claim now after deducting all of these what we will get what we are getting is nil cash profit in the business the entity hasn't earned any cash profit in the business or technically we can say the profits are technically nil in the business so see how much the interpretation matters how much the in-depth financial analysis knowledge matters here you are calculating that the entity hasn't earned anything and here one will say the entity has earned 10 percent cash profit on its sales there is a huge difference in this right so these are called normal cash profits of the entity normal cash profits of the entity and we have to calculate the normal cash profits of the entity because the general cash profit analysis will give a, a untrue picture a fake picture a bogus picture to us right so uh, these profits that we are calling normal cash profits are also called cash accruals some are calling them net cash accruals or cash normal profits some are calculating these profits after tax if you are calculating them after tax then you have to deduct tax as here as well because these net profits are profit before tax these are before tax so if you are if you want to calculate the uh, the uh, cash accruals after tax then you have to deduct first deduct the uh, tax amount from here then you will come to this figure right so this is the basic theme base that base that i wanted to build to you uh, for you for before starting this series i hope you have enjoyed this we will meet in the next video thank you very much